Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 10 of season 2 of My Next Life as a Villainess. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> oh my god. I'm hungry. I want food. <laughs> Good thing I'm making a cheesesteak tonight. <laughs> What's up, Katarina? Oh, it's pretty. But that's what makes it interesting, you know? Really, Cody? <laughs> Aww. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, the tomatoes look good. Mm-hmm. Mm, I know. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 
she's just Aoyama, Blue Mountain, and Shadow having a conversation. Or Kaede and Ronko, oh my god. I can't, that's too much. Babies. <laughs> that was cute. Oh my god. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Still nothing. <sighs> I don't think you want to say that, but you know, mm. exactly. <laughs> worse when you ask somebody like oh my god that pq crew where'd you get it and they're like dang i don't remember it that or they say like I i'm too busy to look for it that's worse tell me to wear a teddy bear like that i can't <laughs> Oh, he gonna cry in he... here. <laughs> <laughs> I was, but you were angry. We all do things that are sometimes childish. It's 
not on there all the way. Of course. There we go, it's better. Oh yeah, they could even lose their eyesight and go blind because they've been in the dark for such a long time. Why? This might even be a three-parter episode. Jesus. about Keith. That too. Once again, you can't think of romance when her brother is gone. That's her family. But he could be here, though. No, I don't think so. But maybe the people who kidnapped him possibly live here. Be safe, though.
Hell, I have no problem with that because he is just like. I think what he means is that you can be rash, maybe a little dumb sometimes. Even though, kind of, mean, you are smart. Smart girl. Smart as fuck. That's okay. <sighs> What's wrong? So we are in the right space. No. Let go of him. He might have to kill Keith. I don't want that. He, he precious baby. Like, oh my god. Do not. Do not. To the girl that Maria saw.
I mean, damn, why don't we just go now? I mean, you're all up. I mean, because, yeah, they could have a trap waiting for them. I get it. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't. This is too much. Like, we, we want Keith to be okay, but we know that he's not because the girl corrupted him with dark magic, but Katarina doesn't know that. This is complicated again. <laughs> like, oh my god, this is like season one all over again. There's got to be a reason, maybe a connection to this girl, possibly Katarina. The only connection would be Keith. So it has to be like something else. Makes sense that Keith was kidnapped. But I'm guessing like going into next week's episode, aka part three, I think that's when we're going to find out the truth. Maybe more backstory on Keith and such and this situation and the girl. And then possibly Thomas, because I'm guessing Thomas might make another appearance next week. But, hmm, I'm so scared. Once again, like, this damn show, I love it so much. But, like, uh, I, I love, like, okay, as someone who's been doing this since 2016 and any anime that I've reacted to where it's, like, it's gotten so good and then, like, a bad thing happens... And you get scared and then it gets worse every single week. And you're like, oh my god, I really feel for these characters. And the situation that they're going for, going into, this is that. But a million times worse. Because, you know, it's just, okay. What else can I compare this to? Okay, Hunger Games. Oh my god, I can't even believe I'm thinking about Hunger Games right now. Okay, so you know how, like, in Catching Fire, this is big spoilers for Catching Fire, really. Uh, Catching Fire and Mockingjay. Um, Peta... And Katniss have always been together and such. And so, you know, their fake relationship, quote unquote, which is also a real relationship at the end of the series. Um, <laughs> there's a point where they get separated. And there's a point also where, like, they both kind of say their goodbyes to each other or just, like, a see you later to each other. And that was kind of, in a way, very similar to Katarina and Keith teeny tiny bit without the running away part even though we know he didn't say that yes that is his handwriting so of course someone forced him to write that down and ish but i remember going to the movie theater and seeing catching fire and like saying out loud didn't mean to um like thinking like yeah this is the last time they're going to see each other and my mother was like what and i was like oh shit like damn i didn't expect anybody to hear that um because the next time they do see each other, Pete is not the same. And that's going to be the same thing when Katarina and Keith do eventually see each other again. Keith is going to be, you know, corrupted by dark magic, even though we as the viewers don't want that to happen. But it is going to happen. It technically already has happened once, you know, the person who he loves the most, Katarina, was engulfed by darkness. That was his last little bit of sanity just taken away from him and once that last little bit of sanity is gone there's 50 out of 50 no way you're coming back the same way that you did and so I'm really truly scared for these characters and what they possibly have to do I hate the fact is of thinking that Keith might die by this because Keith is so every character is so important to Katarina and to this series and to the story and such so to kill somebody off would be hella messed up and I don't want that to happen but it's like the signs are kind of there and it's a little obvious that they might kill him off if they have to but I don't want them to do that and I think well we got like three more weeks with this show I believe so hopefully this show ends on a happy note but other than that guys that was my reaction view towards season two <sighs> no episode 10 of season two my bad <laughs>
<laughs> of my next life as a villainess. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Natural Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode 11. Bye, guys.